in fourth b scan series video we will discuss different detachments of the retina and vitreous most important and difficult to differentiate is posterior vitreous detachment and retinal detachment now look at the membrane in this first dynamic b scan it is thin and you can see the network of hyperechoic lines moving rapidly with probe movements gain is 100 decibels now it's sometimes very thin sometimes very thick so uneven thickness and undulating after movements confirms that this is posterior which is detachment you can observe uh, it is attached to the one side of the disc so it is incomplete pvd you know in the second b scan you can see complete posterior vitreous detachment totally detached from the disc and thin linear hyperechoic shadow with sub highlight hemorrhage now in the third b scan optic nerve is visible complete posterior vitreous detachment with condensed vitreous PVD is less echogenic and disappears below 70 decibel gain. In this B scan, there is open funnel shaped thick membrane looking like retinal detachment, but observe closely the thick concavity of the crystalline lens and attachment of the PVD at one side of the optic nerve. Remember, retinal detachment is attached on both sides of the optic nerve. So, this tricky B scan shows thick old. PVD mimicking RD with very high gains that's why lens is clearly visible now in fifth dynamic B scan you can appreciate the thick highly reflective membrane that's moving with changing the position of the probe it is open funnel shaped now it was visible even on 40 decibel gain whereas pvd will generally disappear at that gain so this is open funnel shaped retinal detachment on dynamic b scan you can see the uniform thickness of hyperechoic membrane attached to the optic disc now a scan of the retinal detachment is highly as compared to the pvd no undulating after movements now in this sixth static b scan open funnel shaped retinal detachment arrow pointing to the uniform thickness and it is attached at optic disc as well seventh b scan also shows retinal detachment with optic disc attachment and you can appreciate the white arrow that is pointing towards the circular hypoechoic area now that is the vitreous cyst in the vitreous cavity you can compare that with the retinal cyst in the coming 2b scans retinal cyst is hypoechoic but surrounded by the hyperechoic covering and ninth B scans showing hypoechoic retinal cysts in old retinal detachment the surface is hyperechoic and interior is hypoechoic now the tenth B scan clearly shows that retinal detachment is attached to the sides of the optic disc and not over it that's an important differentiating point from PVD 11th B scan showing asteroid hyalosis. Yes, you are right, that's asteroid hyalosis, but also tractional retinal detachment. So, never get detracted by one finding. Always look at the retina and vitreous, and you may get two conditions together in one B scan. In 12th B scan, there is a vitreous hemorrhage as well as tenting of the retina due to tractional retinal detachment in diabetic retinopathy patient in 13 b scan you can see large dome shaped convex elevations from opposite fundal areas touching in the middle vitreous cavity
Now these are called kissing choroids of choroidal detachment. In 14th B scan, you can clearly see the arrows pointing towards the multiple choroidal detachments and you can see the relative small size of the globe. So that's multiple choroidal detachments in a hypotenuse eye. Now in the next B scan, you can see that there is a hypoechoic area behind the retina so that's the hemorrhage in the supracoroidal space and there is a dome shaped elevation in front of the retina so that's the choroidal detachment so it's supracoroidal hemorrhage with choroidal detachments in this b scan optic nerve can be appreciated as well now in the last b scan we have shown there is a pvd and t in the anteriorly then the r denotes retinal detachment and C denotes choroidal detachments so in this B scan you can appreciate posterior vitreous detachment retinal detachment as well as choroidal detachment so that was all about the detachments in the B scan thank you very much